The Indonesian archipelago, a tapestry of vibrant islands, volcanic peaks, and, well, azure waters. Hidden within this tropical paradise lies a realm untouched by time, the Komodo National Park, home to a creature as ancient as it is formidable, the Komodo dragon. These remarkable creatures, remnants of a prehistoric era, have roamed these volcanic islands for, oh, millennia. Their presence evokes a sense of awe, and yes, a touch of primal fear. A stark reminder of a time when reptiles ruled the earth. Welcome to the land of the dragons. Their world is one of scorching sun, rugged terrain, and the ever-present scent of the sea. Here, amongst the dry forests and sun-baked rocks, the Komodo dragon reigns supreme, an apex predator, untouched and unchallenged. As we venture deeper into their domain, we prepare to witness the raw power and extraordinary adaptations of these ancient predators. Prepare to be captivated by the Komodo dragon. Emerging from the shade, the Komodo dragon commands attention. Over 10 feet long, its body is armoured in rough-plated scales, a true giant among lizards. Its powerful legs and sharp claws speak of ancient predatory strength. But it's the head that stuns. Long, flat and filled with deadly teeth, serrated and sharp, they tear flesh with brutal efficiency, and hidden within, venom, a secret weapon in every bite. The Komodo Dragon. Brute force and chemical warfare in one fearsome predator. The Komodo dragon is a patient hunter. It understands the rhythm of its environment. It knows the habits of its prey. And it waits for the opportune moment. It stalks its prey with a chilling stillness. Its keen eyesight, capable of detecting movement from afar, scans the landscape its forked tongue, tasting the air, picks up the scent of its next meal. A water buffalo, oblivious to the danger lurking nearby, grazes on the vegetation. The Komodo dragon, a master of camouflage, blends seamlessly into the foliage. Its mottled scales provide the perfect disguise, rendering it almost invisible. It moves closer, its powerful legs carrying it silently across the forest floor. The moment arrives. With a sudden burst of speed, the dragon launches its attack. The element of surprise is its greatest weapon. The water buffalo, caught off guard, barely has time to react. The dragon's jaws clamp down on its flank. The Komodo dragon's bite is a potent combination of brute force and venomous cunning. Its sharp teeth tear through flesh and muscle, inflicting deep wounds that, well, are painfully slow to heal. But the real danger, ah yes, it lies in the venom that seeps into the wound. This venom, a complex cocktail of toxins, wreaks utter havoc on the prey's body. It prevents blood from clotting, which leads to massive internal bleeding. It also induces shock, lowering blood pressure and weakening the victim significantly. As the venom courses through the water buffalo's bloodstream, its effects become increasingly apparent. The once powerful creature begins to weaken, its movements turning sluggish and laboured. The dragon, sensing victory, maintains its grip, its powerful legs keeping the buffalo off balance. The end, when it finally comes, is slow and agonising. The water buffalo, overwhelmed by venom and blood loss, collapses to the ground. The Komodo dragon, its patience finally rewarded, prepares to feast. Studying these magnificent creatures in their natural habitat is, well, certainly not for the faint of heart. It requires a unique blend of scientific curiosity and a healthy respect for the dragon's predatory power. Researchers, armed with knowledge and a good deal of caution, tread carefully in the dragon's domain. Observation is absolutely key. From a safe distance equipped with binoculars and cameras, researchers meticulously document the dragon's behavior. They record their movements, their feeding habits, and their social interactions. Sometimes capturing a dragon for closer examination becomes necessary. This is a delicate and potentially dangerous procedure. 
Only experienced handlers using specialized equipment dare attempt such a feat. With the utmost care and respect, the dragon is temporarily restrained and sedated. Blood samples are taken, measurements recorded, and vital data collected. This crucial information helps us better understand the dragon's physiology, behavior, and conservation needs. Komodo dragons, as apex predators, play a vital role in maintaining the delicate balance of their island ecosystem. Their presence, though certainly fearsome, is absolutely crucial for the health and stability of the entire food chain. By regulating prey populations, they prevent overgrazing and help ensure the survival of plant life. This, in turn, supports a diverse range of herbivores and other creatures that call these islands home. Their scavenging habits also contribute to a healthy environment. By consuming carrion, they prevent the spread of disease and maintain the overall cleanliness of their surroundings. The presence of Komodo dragons is in many ways a sign of a thriving ecosystem. Their continued survival is intrinsically linked to the well-being of their island home. The Komodo dragon, an ancient and extraordinary creature, faces an uncertain future. Habitat loss and climate change threaten their survival while poaching adds further pressure. But hope remains through conservation efforts and protected reserves. National parks offer safe havens and education fosters coexistence. The future of the Komodo dragon rests in our hands. Let's protect them for generations to come. If you've been captivated by the Komodo dragon, like, share and subscribe to the Animal Central.